yearly holiday to my parents' home. Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, oh, the White Cliffs of Dover, Stonehenge. Either I'd grown a lot in the last year, or England's gotten smaller. Here we are, the old homestead. Look, there's Grandma and Grandpa Fletcher. Grandpa, Grandma. Ah, Phineas, Fab, my boys. Oh, Fab, you're looking more like your grandfather. Just look at that resemblance. What do you think, dear? He's a right handsome lad, he is. You can keep these. I've got loads of them. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Grandma. Candice, can that be you? You look like a right beauteous princess. Thanks. Ta-ta, we're off to the antique convention. See you tonight. Hey, Gramps, what's that cool castle next door? Oh, aye, that's our neighbours, Lord and Lady Pipping. They used to belong to the Black Knight. The Black Knight? Such a wonderful team. The Black Knight of Worcestershire, some say it was the sheer, went out to fight the dragon, no one else would volunteer. The hounds are hatred after him through all the moors and lands, because his suit of armor was recycled dog food cans. The Black Knight of Worcestershire, some say it's Worcestershire, he rode up with his hounds of heck to face the dragon's fire. Immortalized in bronze is the Black Knight himself and his hounds of Ack on their final charge to vanquish the dragon. And here is the disastrous results. Legend says that the Black Knight's ghost still haunts these foggy moors, riding in search of the dragon, followed by his pack of fierce hounds. Hey, I know what we should do today. Grandpa Fletcher, let's have the medieval tournament, just like the knights did in the days of yore. We can have jousting and catapults and not bathe. We're ahead of you on the not bathe. Man, Stacey, everything here is so old and wet and small and... and <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, and repost. <laughs> I've run you through stubbings. <laughs> yes, delightful, Master Charles. Clearly, you have mastered the rules of tennis. Uh, Stacey, I'll call you back. I believe it's myself. Oh, dear. I have punned. <laughs> Back it up! Back it up! Good! Right there. Water over here, suckling pigs over there. Hold it! That pig's barely suckling! What do I look like? A fool? That's what I'm talking about. Carry on. So, you ready to chop some lumber for? Hey, where's Perry? <laughs> squeeze but they're on the metric system. Doofenshmirtz is attending an evil scientist convention in London. We're sending you in undercover. Disguised as evil scientist Dr. Lloyd Wexler, who, incidentally, is the man sitting next to you. Good luck, Agent P. Phineas? Oh, hi, Candace. What do you think you're doing? I think I'm building a horse. <laughs> There's a cute boy next door, and I don't want you guys scaring him off by acting like complete freaks. Beg pardon? Hello. <laughs> I'm Charles Pipping. Uh, the fourth. <laughs> I'm Candace Flynn. <laughs> the first. So what's all this? This? Uh, this is just a... Uh... We're putting on a medieval tournament. Medieval tournament? <laughs> that has to be, without a doubt, the most brilliant idea I've heard in years. Exactly. <laughs> because who doesn't love whatever happens at one of those... those... things? Want to join us? Absolutely. We could use my family's castle as a backdrop. And you can be the fair princess in the tower, waiting to be rescued by a handsome knight. Okay. Welcome to EvilCon, Dr. Lloyd Wexler. Hey, wait a second. You didn't get your evil button. Enjoy the convention, Dr. Wexler. As the fair princess in the tower, I declare Sir Charles the winner of the tournament. Wait a second. Could this be one of those things that backfires horribly on me? Looks like that armor is big enough for the two of you. That's a great idea. Ferb, I'll take a top hat because I tend to do more of the talking, and you take a bottom hat because of your incredibly long, willowy legs. You, Sir Charles! They can't even hear me up here! Go, Chuck! Uh, what is going on down there? Did 
you chaps are just about put together, I think it's time I pop next door to fetch my own armor. There's something almost disturbing about this. Hey, look, he's back. Okay, Charles, we'll help get on your horse and do a practice run. You didn't think I'd recognize you, did you? But I do. You're Dr. Lloyd Wexler, my greatest hero in all of evil science. I can't believe I'm actually talking to you. You know, I wrote my thesis on one of your early ransom notes. Gee, you wouldn't mind if I just hung around with you today, would you? Lords and ladies of the court, I declare that this contest is to begin. Hooray! Are you boys ready over there? Ready, Fib? You ready, Grandpa? How about you, Charles? That's the spirit. <laughs> Look, our catapult works. <laughs> Your lungs, sir. Charles? Who's that? Perhaps it was the ghost of the Black Knight. But I wonder where his arms are back on. Winter's heart, the heavy hand of regret, infrequently alights the malevolent part, is one trod without the cumbersome shackles of sentimental interest. That's funny, I don't remember you saying spec so many times. Dr. Whistler, you're a platypus. Bury the platypus! I want to say that I knew it was you all along, but I can't because I didn't. So now I guess I'm supposed to surrender, which I might do if we weren't standing in the middle of an evil weapons expo. <laughs> Aha, there is the platypus. Your giant robot dragon is no match for my giant robot, Queen Elizabeth the First. Hmm. What, would you mind switching robots with me? Would you mind do terribly? Thanks. Thank you very much. I just prefer this one. Thanks. Now, Mary the Platypus, your silly, girly Queen Elizabeth the first robot is no match for my giant fire breathing. Oh, I'm not so sure for either, right? I want to take that. But yours may have laser eyes, but mine breathes. That was a stupid design. It's a draw! This just in, a giant mechanical Queen Elizabeth I and the dragon are rampaging through the country, engaged in an apparent duel to the death. And in other news, a new version of Jane Eyre is in the offing. Good heavens, look at that! making a new version of Jane Eyre. <laughs> Obviously, your Queen Elizabeth I is no match for my dragon! Oh, that Queen Elizabeth is a tough old bird. Ah, there you are. 
Okay. Hello. We had the most amazing time. Look, I found this 19th century barometer. Anything interesting happen around here? I hear there's a new version of Jane Eyre. <laughs> Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Paragraph four. Upon an evil winter's heart, go ahead. Upon an evil winter's heart, the heavy hand of regret infrequently alights the malevolent park. Is one trod without the cumbersome shackles of sentimental introspect. Hmm, that's funny. I don't remember you saying spec so many times. <laughs> You're a platypus. <gasps> Barry the platypus! I want to say that I knew it was you all along, but I can't because I didn't. So now I guess I'm supposed to surrender, which I might do if we weren't standing in the middle of an evil weapons expo. <laughs> Aha, Barry the platypus! Your giant robot dragon is no match for my giant robot, Queen Elizabeth the First. Hmm. Would, would you mind switching the robots with me? Would you mind too terribly? Please? Thanks. Thank you very much. The mechanical Queen Elizabeth I and the dragon are rampaging through the country, engaged in an apparent duel to the death. And in other news, a new version of Jane Eyre is in the offing. Good heavens, look at that. They're making a new version of Jane Eyre. Your lungs, sir. Charles? Who's that? Perhaps it was the ghost of the Black Knight. But I wonder where his arms are back off. Ready? 